Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Toddy Walnuts unboxing update video, all that good stuff. Um, I do have some things piling up again, and I recently picked up some stuff at Best Buy. I got some steel books, I got a box set from Severn Films, I got some animation, a couple of 4K titles, I got a little stack from Code Red, a little stack from Vinegar Syndrome, and I got a record, vinyl album, from record store day last Saturday I'm gonna show that last um, the first thing I'm gonna talk about is something I get a question about quite a bit on my channel people ask often what kind of equipment do I use for region free players um, where do I get it um, and stuff like that so um, I'm gonna shout out a company that I've been dealing with for over a decade now and I've purchased a couple different machines from them and this is the latest edition that I got this is the Sony UBPX 700 Blu-ray DVD 4k region free player and I talked to them and they said that they are willing to give a little discount to my viewers if you go to their channel or to their uh, website I'll leave a link to that below you can put in walnut 7 and you can save 7% off your purchase uh, for example this piece right here was a, a $350 piece of equipment and 7% off would be about 25 bucks so it's worth it and um, so if you're if you're interested in that I will link that below and I try to get Sony equipment every chance I get I, I really like the brand Sony I've had nothing but good luck with my Sony TVs and my Sony Blu-ray players, DVD players over the years. And I just happen to be a Sony guy, so I push their, their product. I like to suggest that. Um, I just picked this up about a week or so ago, and it, it's a beautiful, beautiful piece of equipment. I'm really happy with it. Um, it plays 4K, it plays region free. And like I said, it's 350 bucks. If you want to go and get this particular model, this is the model that you're looking at. It's going to run you about 350 bucks, and if you use Walnut 7 for the coupon code at checkout, you'll get about 25 bucks off your order. So uh, if you do happen to do that, comment below and let me know. Um, the Steelbooks that I picked up at Best Buy a couple days ago, I picked up the Phantasm Steelbook from Wellgo USA. I don't know how many times I own this now. It was very, very cheap at uh, Best Buy, so I went ahead and grabbed it. And uh, this, of course, this is a Don Coscarelli film, I believe, from 1978. And I thought the still book looked pretty cool. It's not the 4K, but I thought it was worthy of adding to the collection, so I scooped it up. And the next two are more family fun than anything else. Um, it's How to Train Your Dragon. These are the Best Buy exclusive steel books, and these look really good. These are the 4K, Blu-ray, and digital codes. I already gave the digital codes away, so they're not gonna be in this video. But um, check out this steel book. Looks really, really good. It's really glossy. It's kind of a fingerprint, fr fingerprint, <laughs> fingerprint magnet. That's hard to say for me for some reason, but it's really cool. I mean, it's, it's a beautiful steel book, and I, I really enjoy these movies, so I was glad to pick this up. Looking forward to checking that out on 4K. And I got uh, How to Train Your Dragon 2, and I'm looking forward to checking out 3. I know it's in the theaters now, and uh, hopefully when that comes out with the steelbook, I can complete the steelbook trilogy of that. There's the 4K and the Blu-ray. And these are really nice still books. So those were the three still books that I picked up recently. Um, I will go to the animation now. I picked up a season. This was one that I've been looking for. And uh, I was about to buy a bootleg DVD of this. I didn't realize it was coming out on Blu-ray. And this is the Netflix original series of Castlevania Season 1. And you guys may remember the 
video game Castlevania from back in the 80s. And I think they're still making sequels to that to this day. But um, this is kind of a dark horror type comedy. And um, I think it, well, it's only one disc. I'm trying to see how many episodes are on here. It is region A. It says it is uh, approximately 96 minutes, so it's probably only, I would think, a couple episodes maybe. If it's 96 minutes and it's season one, that doesn't really make a lot of sense. But I haven't seen the show yet. If anybody has seen it, let me know what I'm in for. And that is Castlevania. And then I also picked up another Hanna-Barbera. I've been grabbing these little by little to try to complete the Hanna-Barbera collection. There's so many of them out there. And this is Inch High Private Eye, the complete series. This is a cartoon from the 60s, I believe. And uh, yeah, really not a whole lot to say about this, but I've been picking up the Hanna-Barbera cartoons lately. I uh, picked up the Halloween 4K again because I recently gifted mine to a friend, and I'm going to link his channel down below, Darren Crowder. And he's uh, doing very well on his, uh, on his uh, subs lately. He's over 600 now, so congrats to Darren. I, he just did an unboxing of a gift I sent for him. I'm going to link his channel down below with that video of the gifts that I sent to him. And you can go over, say hi to Darren, subscribe to his channel. He's one of my best buddies out here. So um, I had to grab this again. I got the one with the uh, slipcover because I gave Darren my steelbook. So, and this is a great movie. It's one of his favorites, so I thought it would, should be in his collection. And uh, I just wanted to pick it up again, so I have it. And that's the Halloween from 2018. Here's one I'm going to watch next weekend when my son comes over. This is called The Meg. And I heard mixed reviews about it, but I do like shark movies. This is the 4K Ultra HD with the slipcover. I gave the code away again for this one, so this is the Blu-ray and the 4K Blu-ray. Looking forward to checking this out. I always have fun with the uh, shark movies. And Jason Statham is in it. I, I'm not the biggest Jason Statham fan, but uh, I'm sure it'll be okay. It's a shark movie, so <laughs> put that on off camera. I picked up the Severin Hemisphere of Horrors box set. I got this a couple days ago. And uh, this one comes with Curse of the Vampires, the Blood Drinkers, the Black Cat, the Torture Chamber of Dr. Sadism and Brain of Blood. And these are all schlocky um, drive-in style films from the 60s and 70s, grindhouse style. Um, it was limited to 3,500 and I got number 510. And I uh, haven't really gone through this yet. I know there have been quite a few unboxings of this, but I've been putting those off because I wanted to see the box for myself. I like that uh, Severin is putting them into black cases. I think that looks pretty cool. This is a film from 1966. It is black and white. This is the Black Cat and the Torture Chamber of Dr. Sadism, which is from 1967. And that is color. and they put them together on one Blu-ray, which is fine because Blu-rays hold a lot of info. So here is Brain of Blood. It's a film from 1971. These are all Region A, by the way. See that it is some pretty gory fun, pretty low buck special effects. The next one is The Blood Drinkers, 1964. You do get some pretty good special features. This one comes with the Severin catalog for 2019, showing some of their previous releases. And uh, these do not have reversible covers. At least that one didn't. Nope. And the last one is Curse of the Vampires. 
film from 1966. So I was glad to pick that one up. I ordered this one right away when it was uh, first uh, announced. I was pretty much like day one on this one to uh, pre-order it. Severn's been doing some really good stuff, so wanted to grab that one. I picked up a couple westerns. This one was pretty cheap at Best Buy. I didn't get the slipcover with it, but that's okay f with me on this side. I think this was only like 15 bucks. This is the 4K Ultra HD of Unforgiven starring Clint Eastwood. And I'm looking forward to I've seen this movie many times on different formats, all the way from VHS, DVD, Blu-ray, and now 4K. I'm looking forward to seeing how this cleans up. This one came out in 1992. You get the regular Blu-ray and the 4K. Very, very good Western film. And I got a Kino title for a few dollars more. Sergio Leone film starring Clint Eastwood. And this is a good one. Klaus Kinski plays a pretty good villain in this one. He's a hunchback. And uh, there you can see the scene where um, Lee Van Cleef lights his match off the hunchback's back to light his pipe. It's pretty good. Pretty good scene. And Kinski gets all pissed off. Films from 1965. 132 minutes. It's quite long for, for a Western film. And uh, it's very enjoyable. And this one does have some, it's not quite reversible cover, but it's like a poster image on the inside. Pretty cool. And this is probably one of the, the best spaghetti westerns ever made, in my opinion, for a few dollars more. I picked up a film from Arrow Video that I have not seen yet. I've heard good things about it. This is the Forbidden Photos of a Lady Above Suspicion, a film by Luciano Ercoli. And this is the new 2K restoration of the film. And you can see that it has a ton of special features. This is the Region A edition. You can watch it in English or English. I, I, don't, I don't know if I just said English or English, but I meant Italian or English. And uh, there's the Italian reversible cover. And this one comes with a little booklet. There's uh, some of the previous releases. Really high quality paper with nice uh, sharp images and some write-ups about the film. Nice little giallo film, from what I hear. I've heard good things, I have not seen it myself yet. But I am looking forward to popping this one in and checking it out. Some info about the restoration and some special thanks and all that stuff like they always do. So that is a um, the forbidden photos of a lady above suspicion. I grabbed some Code Red titles. I haven't really grabbed a lot of Code Red titles as of late, but I did manage to pick up. I got some from Dark Force. I got some from Ronin and I got some from Diabolic DVD. And the first one I got here was from Dark Force, and this is Screams of a Winter Night. Kind of a low buck 80s horror film. Group of college students spending the weekend away at a remote cabin. We've all heard that theme before. This is the 2K scan of it. And it does have the uncut 124 minute director's edition. And it has a um, long lost fourth story of the anthology. So I wanted to pick this one up. It is uh, Region A and it says it's PG. So that is uh, Code Red Spine 177. Screams of a Winter Night. I got Steel Arena. This is an upgrade for me. I do have the DVD. This is Code Red Spine 175. Brand new 2018 HD Master. It does have audio commentary with Mark Lester and an on-camera uh, on interview with Mark Lester. And um, I believe this is a film from the early 80s. I'm not seeing a, a year on the back. 
early to mid 80s I would say kind of a cannonball run ripoff steel arena a couple of grindhouse style films I got the fifth floor I got this one from diabolic DVD I believe and this is spine 171 here you can see a young Robert England has a brand new HD master a film from 1979 and this is a woman in prison type movie I believe um, insane asylum th same thing crazy inmates uh, I picked up the swinging bar barmaids because I think I have a feeling this one's gonna go out of print pretty soon this is spine number 174 I believe this was a limited run it might have been limited to 1000 but I'm not exactly sure I wanted to grab it um, this has the brand new 2018 HD master approximately 90 minutes this region a and it's a sex exploitation film about a serial killer who kills cocktail waitresses and this is uh, I think I already said spine 174 and the last one is a double billing of teenage tramp and cat Merkill and the Silks and this is spy number 170 and these are 70s street gang movies with uh, juvenile delinquents um, the films are Teenage Tramp is 74 minutes and Cat Merkel and the Silks are is uh, 103 minutes and this is all region very much uh, B movies right there I got a nice little stack of stuff from Vinegar Syndrome that these titles have been out for a while I wanted to grab them before the slipcovers went out I like what Vinegar Syndrome does on their website they let you know exactly how many slips are left before they're out or, be, or how many of the limited editions are left um, and that can help you decide if you want to buy it or not a lot of people don't really want to buy them without the slip but I guess those people usually pre-order them or get them right away so um, I wanted to get them before they were gone and I got the um, uninvited and uh, these slip covers are really nice but they're also pretty tight and um, that's pretty cool they call it like a double thick where it kind of wraps around on the inside give it like a double thick feel to it and uh, this is a film from 1987 and it's the blu-ray DVD combo filmed by Graydon Clark starring George Kennedy and Alex Cord is in here Clue Gulliger is also in here you can see it's kind of a uh, cheesy horror film about biochemical uh, tests done on animals and the animals become carnivorous and uh, attack people there's the um, reversible cover blu-ray DVD combo I like that that they each had their own unique artwork and that is uninvited next one is called there's nothing out there this is one that I have not seen before I've heard mixed reviews about this one some people say it was really good some people say it was overrated I guess but I think this this may be a shot on video film I'm not exactly sure but I'm looking forward to checking this out I think that's a pretty cool slip cover and then there's the reversible cover I flipped it already and this is a film from 1990 all region DVD blu-ray combo 91 run 91 minutes running time and there are all the special features so you can see that it's a very low buck film some people say they really liked it and then others say that it was blah but no I'm lo looking forward to checking it out there's nothing out there if you guys have seen any of these and you want to comment below without giving spoilers you can go ahead and do so 
The next one looks really cool. This is like a sci-fi horror called Battle for the Lost Planet. I think that cover looks really good. And that is very reminiscent to the VHS days right there. That's how movies used to get sold with covers like this. I mean, how could you walk past that and not want to grab it and put it in your, in your hand and check it out for the night? So... So there is the reversible cover. I flipped it. And this is a uh, twin billing, Battle for the Lost Planet and Mutant War. Uh, Battle for the Lost Planet came out in 1985 and Mutant War came out in 1988. And it says it is 182 minutes combined. I suppose you could watch them back to back like a drive-in style. And it is all region. Looks like a fun little watch there. So there you have the, um, the DVD on the left and the Blu-ray. The next one is also a blind buy for me. I have never seen this movie before. This is called In the Cold of the Night. A film by Nico Mastarakis. And I've not seen this one before. It looks a little cheesy when you look at this reversible cover. It looks like something you would see on a Danielle Steele romance novel. But um, willing to give it a shot. It is a film from 1990, 113 minutes, all region. And it says it's about a high-profile fashion photographer who is suffering from increasingly disturbing and violent dreams, which he savagely attacks and murders young women. So is it really a dream, or is, is this really occurring in his life? So you got to check it out and find out for yourself. There's a DVD on the left and a Blu-ray on the right. And uh, that's, that's a horrible cover, guys. I'm sorry. That is, that is horrible. got two left for the vinegar syndrome stuff this is the killing kind Terry was great with the girls until they were alone so you can see there are some special features you get a 2k scan of the film it's a film from 1973 all region, 95 minutes. After being released from prison for a brutal assault in which he was to a victim, Terry returns home to his mother. Unable to cope with his freedom and uncertain about how to appease his ever-growing desire to harm those around him, Terry finds solace in playing violent practical jokes. And finally, this was a purchase that I got from a fellow YouTuber and good friend of mine, Tanner, Tanner Ross in Hollywood. So Tanner, if you're watching, thank you for the great deal on this and thank you for the uh, inserts that you, or the um, advertisements that you sent along. Those were pretty cool to look at. And thank you for the good deal that you gave me on this. This is Lucifer's Women and there's two different films on here. You get the uh, 1974 version of Lucifer's Women and then you get the 1978 reworking of the film by Al Adamson called Dr. Dracula so there's two different films and they have running time of 182 minutes it is all region and obviously this is a satanic possession type film so I was pretty happy to see that they had Al Adamson's um, Dr. Dracula in here although uh, it does get pretty bad ratings on IMDb, but I wanted to check that out. And from what I hear, they 
they cleaned it up and they got it in HD for DVD, but it was not uh, cleaned up enough for Blu-ray. So that is uh, Lucifer's Women. I picked up a record, a two disc, uh, two record set on record day. And this is the ultimate Sinatra. And this is 24 of the chairman of the board's best from Capital and Reprise together for the first time on two deluxe 180 gram LPs. So these are all the songs you get. I picked this up for 15 bucks on Record Store Day. Um, I was curious about that. I know we have Record Store Day here in the US, but does anybody else celebrate? I mean, I don't know if it's really called celebrating, but does anybody else partake in Record Store Day? Do they do, they do that overseas? If anybody wants to comment down below, I'm curious to know. And there is the old Blue Eyes himself. That's back when crooners were crooners. They don't really have music like this anymore. But um, very happy to pick this up. I do have all these already. I have the, the complete Capitol recordings by Sinatra. And I have quite a bit of his reprise stuff. So I have almost everything that he recorded on CD. But this is the first album I have from Sinatra. So I was glad to pick that up. I uh, wanted to show you guys a figure that I picked up too. Let's see if the lighting is good over here. I'm going to take you to the other part of the room here. I picked up, this is called The Good. That is Clint Eastwood as portrayed in the film The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. And this is from a company called Red Man Toys. And I put everything together today. It comes in a box when it has all the different accessories. I got him holding a shotgun. I'm going to put my pills away so you guys don't see that. But uh, he's got little spurs on his boots. He's got black denim jeans. He's got his green poncho. He's got his saddle bag that goes across his shoulder. And he even has, I didn't put it in because I was afraid I was going to lose it. That's a little cigar that goes in his mouth. And look at the likeness on that, man. I mean, that is really, really good. And under his poncho, he has like a white dress shirt with a kind of a leather vest under, and it has a lot of articulation. You can pose him just about any way you want. He also has his uh, smoke wagon there on the side and his little holster. Comes with a couple different belts. There's a belt that can hold up his pants. There's actually belt loops on the pants, and there's also an ammo belt on there if you can see that there I don't want to tip them over I have to get one of those little prongs that hold them up but that is called the good that is Blondie from the good the bad and the ugly and he is a companion piece to this is uh, Dirty Harry Callahan I picked up a um, display case in the back that I'm going to put these guys in eventually but I have to get one of those progs that hold them up and this is the Dirty Harry that I had already previously and you can see he's got the shades he's got his hand cannon he's got his uh, his red cardigan and his necktie so I was uh, I had this one for a while and I was happy to pick this one up to add to the collection So, uh, while I was showing you guys that, I was dropping stuff. I was going to do a quick recap. I got Halloween 4K, Inch High Private Eye, Castlevania Season 1, How to Train Your Dragon 2 Steelbook, How to Train Your Dragon, Phantasm, The Forbidden Photos of a Lady Above Suspicion. I'm really looking forward to checking that out. The Hemisphere of Horrors box set from Severin Films. For a few dollars more, starring Clint Eastwood, and Unforgiven, starring Clint Eastwood. Lucifer's Women. The Killing Kind. 
in the cold of the night. Battle for the Lost Planet and Mutant War. There's nothing out there. Uninvited. The Meg, which I'm probably going to watch this Friday night when my son comes over. And I got a little stack from Code Red. Double billing of Teenage Tramp, Cat Merkel in the Silks, Swinging Barmaids, The Fifth Floor, Steel Arena, Screams of a Winter Night, and Ultimate Sinatra. And don't forget to go check out Bombay Electronics if you guys are interested in checking out a region free player. If you're on the fence about it, just make the jump, do it, pull the trigger because eventually you're going to end up getting one. You might as well get one now, get a little sale price. This company is great. They're very customer friendly because if you message them, they message you right back and um, they're, they're, they'll give you any information that you're looking for. Uh, if you have any further questions about this Blu-ray player or the company and you want to comment down below, I will help you with that too. Um, don't forget, put in Walnut 7, you'll save 7%, which is about 25 bucks on this particular model. And thank you guys for watching, and I will see you probably in a couple days. i got a couple more things coming in. Not much more, but a couple more things, and I'll probably record a video by mid to late week. So for Miss Hannah, I am Toddy Walnuts. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to go check out Darren Crowder in his uh, unboxing video and subscribe to him. He's a good guy. So later. Grrrr! <sighs>